Hello everybody, this is Susie the Music Lady and I'm back to share with you how to play song number 20, which is Tune of the Tuna Fish. It's one of my favorite songs from this book. It's so cute, I love it, okay? The first thing that you need to know about this song is that it's not in C position. It's not in G position. It's in F position. The second thing you need to know about this song is that your left hand two and your right hand four are going to fall on B flat. So we're having, we're adding flats to the key signature this time. It's a little confusing. Um, whenever I was a kid, I always got um, sharps and flats kind of mixed up. I'm like, why is it the way it is? Um, You'll learn as you work with the circle of fifths and uh, music. So anyways, I digress. So <laughs> there you go. So we got F major with B flats. Okay. The Bs are flat all the time, every time, unless they have a natural next to, the, to them. Okay. The second thing, or the third thing, I'm sorry, that you need to know is that your left hand has this uh, pattern of chords, okay? You've got your five with your one and three, and your four with your one and two, that includes the B flat, okay? So it's a little clashy, clashy, and then it goes back to five, one and three, and then five, one and three. So pay close attention to whether it's your five on that line on F, or if it's your four in that space on G. And then it goes back to the line, back to the line. So pay close attention to whether it's a five or a four, and that's gonna kind of give you a clue as to what uh, chord you're dealing with here, okay? So let's just play through the left hand all right, just the first two phrases. One, two, ready, go. Five, one and three, four, one and two, back to five, one and three, five, one and three, look ahead, five, one and three, four, one and two, and look, it's different, three, two and four, three and five. Make sure to hold that whole note out for four whole counts, okay? So you'll notice those last two measures, we've got a three, two and four, and then three and five, okay? So the line goes down, we've got a three, four, five, basically, with decoration. You know, okay? So it's a three, four, five with a little bit of harmony. Okay, let's go ahead and read the next two phrases for the left hand, okay? Look at it closely. It starts on four and one and two. One, two, ready, go. Four, one and two. Four, one and two. One, two, three, four. Uh -huh. Go on, it's five. Do? Did you do pretty good? I hope so. <laughs> All right. So what you'll probably notice is that um, the left hand has the same phrase structure um, for the second set of phrases. For instance, you've got the first phrase. Bum, bum. Oh, sorry, sorry. You got the first phrase with bum, 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 and then the second phrase. Bum, 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 starts out like the first one but then it ends differently right okay so you've got that and then the next two phrases you've got this little B section and then it goes back to what it sounds like at the beginning but it's really just a repeat of the second phrase three 
Okay, so we have this little um, A pattern, A1, B, and then A1. So this would be A, oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> we're in F major, <laughs> A, confuse you too much right there. <laughs> I'm talking about like, you know, phrase structure. All right, right hand here, right hand. We've got a five, three, three, four, two, two. Look closely. It goes by step. Five, five, five. It's all the same there. Go on. Five, three, three, four, two, two. Look closely. It goes by skip. Five, five, and then a one. Okay, so let's play through those first two phrases one more time. One, two, ready, go. do the next two phrases take a close close look at it we've got a lot of repeating notes and then they go up and then a one and five one and five and then it kind of looks like the beginning but it also looks like the second phrase okay and it is exactly like the second phrase so let's start at the third phrase on this two one two ready go So we're going to try to put hands together. I'm going to go a little slower than what we've been going for each hand individually. We're going to go to one, two, ready, go. Just match it up. We've got fours and twos. Whoops, I messed up. <laughs> Let's try it again. One, two, ready, go. Did you do pretty good? <laughs> Keep practicing, go at a nice, slow, steady tempo, and then build it up over time, and you will be great at this song. All right, see you in the next video. Bye.